live from downtown Dearborn. It's your favorite live stream new comic book preview. That's right, folks. It's time for Brain Scan. And some music that just died off. Wow. You know, I thought I had enough there. Cool. Wow, let y'all down. Let's go! Woo! Party time! Hey, everybody! Welcome to this week's episode of Brain Scan, where here at Green Brain Comics, we will scan our shelves and show you all the new books hitting the racks this week. Wednesday, September 9th, 2020. Oh, my God. Summer, where'd you go? First day of school, first week of school back for a lot of folks here in Michigan. First day back for us. We took yesterday off. Ish. Ah, sort of. <laughs> There's always work to do at the old brain. Mm -hmm. But we got her done. And had a little bit of rec recreational time off. We ate pizza. Ooh, pizza, yummy. We also grilled. Mm -hmm. Our traditional Labor Day duties. Hooray for Labor Day. <laughs> Hope you guys all had a great holiday weekend. Let's wait. I am Katie. And I'm Shay. <laughs> Let's get ready to look at some new comics. Woo! It's all action adventure from here on out. Looks like we've got Ash and Thor number five, covered by Jill Thompson. Beautiful and menacing. Ugh. <laughs> Bad Mother number two. Aw. Looks like it might be a Dotto cover, yeah. He does interiors as well. <gasps> Blackwood, The Morning After number four. This is the last of the newest mini series. I think that's a Veronica Fish cover and uh, somebody else cover. Ghost. Maybe Andy Fish. Very nice. We'll never know. Maybe we'll. we'll never know. <laughs> the world may never know. Canto and the Clockwork Fairies. We have a second print. All right. Canto's big news. Cyberpunk 2077. There it is. Trauma <laughs> <laughs> Number one. Uh, that features writings by Colin Bond. Hooray. Ooh. Death or Glory, Volume 2. Pretty. Rick Remender, writer of Deadly Class. Oh, yeah. Green Hornet, number two. Got the Lee Weeks, and you got the, the other guy. Marquez. Oh, mm. David Marquez? I don't know. Nah, either way, very nice. Heathen, Volume 3. Oh, pretty. Ooh. do Ice Cream Man presents Quarantine Comics Special. So these comics came out on QuarantineComics.com and they're being released in your floppy comic book form, as, the <laughs> as it said. For the first time in print, this features uh, the regular crew, plus Declan Shelby, Al Ewing, PJ Holden, Dennis Camp, Archeon, Toblin, and other folks that will twist my tongue around. Man, oh man. Ooh. We also have Lady Mechanica, Volume 6, Sangre. Ooh, getting up there. The Mart, Number 7. Pretty. Oh. Nice cover. We have Mars Attacks, Red Sonia, Number 2, covered by Lucio Perillo. And this cover oh. by... I don't know. Yeah, that looks like a, another Arthur Sudum cover. Creepy. Maybe. And... Oh. And that cover. That's nice, too. Yeah, I think that's like the FOC cover. I'm not sure who did it, but it's pretty. Looking good. John Carpenter's Night Terrors, Graveyard Moon, <laughs> trade paperback. Ooh, that cover's by Kelly Jones. Mm -hmm. Ray. That's creepy. <laughs> Oblivion Song number 27. Uh-oh, what's going on there? Uh-huh. He's shooting one of those guys from the other dimension. Other dimensional guys shot. <laughs> Outer Darkness 2, trade paperback, fusion cuisine. Ha, ha, ha. What was that, three issues, four issues? Yeah, it looks like three or four. I don't know. The Red Mother, number eight. <laughs> yeah, one of those. <laughs> one of those. <laughs> three. three issues. Awesome. Oof. We got Seven Secrets, third print of number Ooh. one. That second print went quick. Something is killing the children, number ten. <laughs> wow. Do you think we finally ordered enough? What a hot book. I hope so. Stargazer, number one, from Mad Cave. Stealth, number five. Ooh, pretty. That takes place in Detroit. <gasps> Ooh. 
Hey, Transformers Terminator, second print of number one. Hooray. As well as Undiscovered Country, a second print of number seven. We've got all these new printings. And last but not least, to wrap up our action adventure shelf, we have Vampire the Masquerade. Man, I know that's not Vince Locke, but, but it sure looks sure like it. But we sure know that this B cover is David <laughs> Beck. Yeah, yeah, it is. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Looking good. That wraps up our action adventure. As we move on over to our uh, original graphic novel shelf, which we actually don't have any original graphic novels this week, but we do have one original magazine. Yeah. But let's say hi to all of our loyal viewers. So let's see, uh, uh, James Holt says, Happy New Comic Book Wednesday. Happy Wednesday! And it says, What summer, Shay? I think that's in response to the summer comment, yeah. I mean, it was pretty hot, but not anymore. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was wetter than it was hot. Uh, Amar's watching, G. Walker Tion's watching. Hey, uh, Frank Guerrero says, Hello, Green Brain Crew. Hey, hey. And that brings us up to date. Awesome. All right. Wonderful. Wonder beans. And as mentioned, we do have a new magazine over here, Kitchen Table Magazine, Ooh. full of comics, articles, illustrations, all revolving around food. Mm. Yummy. I like food. Mm. <laughs> One of the best things in life. But yeah, look for some <laughs> look for some organizational changes around this area, folks. Oh yeah. It's in need of a revamp. Mm hmm. I don't think we got anything else to show off over here. I think that wraps up this area. We could. Oh, oh. Here's what we forgot. Uh oh. Comic. Yeah. That's okay. We got free comics. I just want to let everybody know that this is the last week of free comics summer. We've been giving away different free comics every week for the past 10 weeks, maybe? Has it been? Something like that. Eight weeks? July, since July 15th. So, yeah. Just over. Just about two months, we've had a selection of different books every week. This is the last of it. This is this Wednesday's selection, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, Humanoids what? featuring the Incal. Oh, Splatoon were you going to mention? And then Sue and Tai Chan. Aw, cute. Which it looks, looks like, like it's, uh, it's from the people that brought you Cheese Sweet Home. Awesome. Beautiful. Yeah, I just wanted to mention that the Legion, uh, the Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess, also features a backup story from Splatoon Squid Kids Comedy Show. And while we only got a couple for this last week, we do definitely still have a few left of all the previous weeks. Not all the books, but we have a selection of some of them left over. So if there's something that you miss on the week that it uh, arrived, feel free to ask. We may still have it. Nice. Free comic book day summer. Wrapping up. Success. Woo! Well, this is the time where we would normally come over to the DC shelf and show oh. you all the new DC books. But uh, alas, the DC books have failed to arrive in time for the video. You know, as much as DC wants Tuesday to be new comic book day, they can't even make it in time for Wednesday. Huh. Yes, it would be nice if we actually had the books in time for well, our new comics. So they will arrive hopefully sometime tomorrow. Um, we cannot say for sure what time, so probably not for our 11 o'clock opening, but if you are coming just for DC Comics, I would say call first. Or plan on making another trip back. So, oh, yeah. Because, yeah, we don't know what time we're going to get them tomorrow. But it's coming by UPS, so hopefully it'll name, be nice and early. Should we name all the titles? Or? Sure, let's just go quick. All right, we got Batman, Detective, uh, Dark Knight Returns, Golden Child Deluxe Hardcover. <laughs> nice. Batman Adventure continues, second print of number one. Batman's Grave, Catwoman, Joker Killer Smile Hardcover, fourth print of number one of Deceased, and a second print of number two. Wow. Justice League, Metal Men, and Teen Titans. There it is. Well, yeah, aside from not being able to see all that beautiful cover art, that's what we're supposed to get tomorrow from DC Comics. So get ready. Hey, look, we got variants. Oh. Check them out. 
we've got this cool Empire Avengers Aftermath, which is TBA. Yeah, this is uh, one per store. Let's see, this is a thank you variant. And this is all Alex Ross artwork. We also have this Red Mother Virgin by, who is this? I'm not sure. Wilson. Wilson. Whoops, sorry. Very nice. <laughs> Rise oh, Wilson. of Ultraman variant edition. I think this is a Kata. Well, we also have Web of Venom Wraith number one. Wow. Uh, our, on this is by E.M. Gist. And last but not least, we have Wolverine number five. Yeah, this is from the issue that we received yeah, last week. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure who did the cover, but it's pretty awesome. Yeah, NK, no, it's nice. N.K. Jameson, maybe? Oh, right. Maybe. Very I'm cool. Either way, very awesome. <laughs> cool. That wraps up our incentive variants. And now we're going to move on over to the Marvel Show. Hey, we're moving over to the Marvel we're Show. Back for the break our Don't break your ankles. <laughs> on our Marvel Show. Starting with Captain of Marvel, number 21. We do have this A cover Ooh, by uh -oh. Jorge Molina. Uh-oh, someone's... Somebody's <laughs> in the box. What's in the box? We've got a beautiful variant edition by Jenny Frizen. Mm, Look at that. Very pretty. cool. And this cover by Townsend. Tim uh, Townsend. Looks like uh, Townsend does inks over Chris Bocciolo. Awesome. Oh, we also have this Heroes at Home Goody Hero variant. It's very cute. <laughs> I'll, I'll save you the punchline. Ha ha ha. We also have the aforementioned Avengers Empire Aftermath number one. Something big happens here. And we have this cover by Terry Dodson. Ooh, oh, pretty. and Rachel. <laughs> And this cover by, I'm not sure who that is. Oh. No. Uh, Greg Land. Ooh, very nice. Did his bonsai die? What's happening? Yep. Screwed uh, everything up. Again. Way, Way to go. go, Reed. Way to go, Mr. Not-So-Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of fantastic, we have Fantastic Four Empire Fallout number one. Cover by R.B. Silva. Yep. And this cover is by, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe that? Carlos Pacheco. Oh, we also have this other cover. Don't know who that is either. Hmm. Oh, that's Alex Ross. That's a snapshot variant. That's the uh, yeah, the timeless, timeless portraits. Timeless, yeah. yeah, very cool. nice. The magnificent Miss Marvel number fourteen. This is a first new issue from Miss Marvel since before <gasps> the shutdown. That's wow. right. In fact, number thirteen shipped right before the shutdown, and we had a signing with Saladin Ahmed to debut the new character Amulet. Wow. That's right. That was number wow. 13. Which we're getting a second printing of real soon. Ooh, Ooh. wonderful. Ooh, also wonderful. A Marvel Storybook Collection. Ah, oh, look at all these wonderful superheroes. So cool. Ravencroft Institute for the Criminally Insane, number five. I think that's the final issue of that miniseries with a Kyle very Hatz. cool Kyle Hatz cover. The Amazing Spider-Man number 48 sends Rising tie-in. Oh, Heroes at Home variant from Goody Hero. And that's it. Oh. Nice. Thanks, Lord. Excuse there being eight hour covers. Star number five. Don't worry, we're getting there. <laughs> Ooh, this is a nice cover by Chris Anka. And that's a, a preview of Things to Come cover or Ooh, something like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Her oh. <laughs> Strange Academy. We got a third print of number two. Wow. wow, this book is hot, hot, hot. Yay! Our big yeah. number one this week is Ultraman, the rise of Ultraman. We have this cover by Alex Ross. This cover from Scotty Young. A uh, photo variant, which is pretty cool. <laughs> and this cover, who is uh, this? I think that's uh, Spider Man. Capel. <laughs> ah. <laughs> who knew? And I think that's it, right? Yep. Yep. And uh, while this is actually a real tough week for me to decide, I'm going to have to make this my pick oh, of the week. Easy. Wow. <laughs> Zang. Well, wonderful. Well, wake up. Well, let's go to the top shelf while we're waking up. We have Silver Surfer <laughs> Epic Collection Resurrection. Oh, look at that beautiful Ron Lim cover. And back down, another important number one this week is a Web of Venom Wraith number one. This cover by Kyle Hotz. And another cover by, I assume, the same person. It looks I think like. this is uh, Juan Jose Reap. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Nice. 
True Believers number one, Impeth. And True Believers number one, Grey Crow. Classic reprints, all for a buck. We also have <gasps> Marauders number 12. I'm uh -oh. super excited about this issue. <gasps> uh oh. Kind of want to make that the thumbnail. Ooh. X Factor number three. Right oh, and we also have X Force number twelve. Now let's not get too carried away. Let's uh, open. Just, just to some... note, though, this is a Path to Ten of oh. Swords story. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, Look up here. what we got up here. We got the third print of number one, Thor, and a fourth print of number three, as well as a third print of number four. So if you missed it the fourth and the third time, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly. That's Man. a lot of prints. Boy, oh boy. Good old prints. All right. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Speaking of reprints, over here on the Star Wars shelf, we have a third print of number one of Bounty Hunters. Just an uh, interesting note. You can still get second print variant. Oh. I mean, first print variant. That, oh, all right. Yeah. Good. Also... Star Wars Darth Vader, we got a second print of number three. And you could still get first print. Oh, well, how about that? You got right. all kinds of choices. Different covers, though, so that's great. Yeah, wonderful. <laughs> Over here on the YA shelf, we have Bill and Ted are doomed. Uh, this was almost my pick of the week. Yeah, because ah. Roger Langridge does the interior art, and Evan Dorkin does the writing. And, and Evan... I think this is a prequel to the movie. Correct? Um, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh! oh! It's a prequel to falling. Knock it on the floor. Tumble. <laughs> we do need a B variant that we need to call out here. I was getting there. They were upside down. Uh, Ooh. Uh, this B variant is by interior artist Roger Langridge. Eisner Award winning. And, of course, the A is by... The writer, also Eisner Award winning, Evan Dorkin. Nice. Sweet. They're fine. They're fine. It's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Buffy go. the Vampire Slayer presents Willow number three with a beautiful Jen Bartel cover. Ooh. And a cover is that Mark Andolfo? I believe so. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's nice. Very nice. Also, Firefly hardcover volume one. A new sheriff in the verse. In the oh. Verse. Is that slang for universe? Because I don't know. I would imagine yes. so, because there's an apostrophe. The something verse. Yeah, it could be anything. Firefly verse. verse yeah. Any verse. Uh, da, 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 da. All the way down here at the end, we got TMNT ongoing number 109. Remember, this book is shipping two times a month, bi weekly, something like that. Crazy. And this is probably the last one we're getting for the shelf, so get your orders in. Oh. Hey, look, we've got cool new manga to show you guys. We've got BL Metamorphosis Volume 1. It's about a cute story about uh, befriending an old lady over boys love manga. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cute. Cogister Volume 2. Up, up, up. We also have Makeup is Not Just Magic, a manga guide to cosmetics and skincare. Ooh, I like this one. <laughs> Pokemon Sun and Moon, Volume 8. Ooh, what kind of Pokemon is that? Oh. Uh, wow. I don't know that Pokemon. Some tribal guy. <laughs> Sayonara Football Volume. <laughs> Some tribal guy. <laughs> From the Some creator bro. of uh, Your Lion April, which is a pretty sad manga, so uh -oh. this is quite a switch up. Yeah, she looks like she's happy. She's getting some ice cream. What? Or a popsicle. Something's going on there. <laughs> yeah, she's like, sayonara, football, hello, right. creamsicle. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have Splatoon, a volume 10. Hooray! Yay. Everybody loves Splatoon. Just the one on our YA graphic novel is Ichiro, an Asian Pacific American Young Adult Literature Honor Book. Oh, oh, look, it's an Eisner nominee. Very nice. From the folks at Etch. Oh, a Hope Mifflin Harcourt imprint. Interesting. Cool beans. All right. Look at all this tween stuff we got. We got 
Babysitter's Club Color Edition Volume 8. Logan likes Mary Ann. It's really getting up there. Volume 8. Fly on the Wall, a hybrid novel by Remy Lai. Forget Me Nat, the Nat Enough Volume 2. Phoebe and her Unicorn Volume 12, Virtual Unicorn Experience. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> we also have Roald Dahl's The Witches graphic novel by Penelope Bijou. She did the art, and that's awesome. A brazen. Yes. Very cool. Yeah, she was here a couple years ago for Comic Con. Yep. Yes. She was one of our special guests. Seance. Nice Seance Tea Party by Ramina Yi. This is really cute and maybe my pick of the week. Oh, nice. <laughs> we'll smack it. Smack it. <laughs> also, we have Student Ambassador, The Missing Dragon, Volume 1. Well, that's written by Ryan Estrada. Nice. Uh, he's an acquaintance through b b b Kids Read Comics. And just to, to highlight this book, once again, I read it. It was amazing. Highly recommend. There is a volume two coming. It's adventurous. And it's just great. It's got giant crabs. <laughs> it's got giant crabs. Well, Talking that animals. Makes <laughs> that makes it great right there. Yes. Highly recommend. Wonderful book. Hey, look, we got kids' books. Katie. <laughs> and on our all-ages shelf, we have Bon Bon and Bon Bon. They're oh. fancy friends. Yeah. Aww. They're fancy friends. They are. <laughs> they are. Did you think I was lying? I, I don't know. It's kind of early for Easter books, but sure. You know, we got a lot of Christmas books last week, so uh, all <laughs> bets are off. right along. <laughs> when, it's, when it's a COVID year, we can have any holiday we want anytime we We're want. We're just moving into first quarter next year. <laughs> I'll leave volume two of the color edition, just a little blue. Aw, cute. But it's very orange. He's so good. Squidding Around, volume one. Fish Feud. Look at those colorful characters. From Kevin Sherry. And that's it. That's it. That's it. That wraps up. That's it. That's it. That's it. That wraps up all the comics we have on the shelf for this week, September 9th, 2020. Thank you for watching. Brain scan. <laughs> I was thinking, was there anything else that we wanted to say before I launched into the uh, All right, right. closing? Let's part. see. Uh, only got a couple notes here. Um, Skeechy versus Square says, what up, dog? Green brain. What up, Skeechy? Skeechy? Uh, my old school pal Danny's watching. And uh, Dave Norwood. Hey, Dave. Thanks Aww, for tuning hey. in. Hey, everybody. Hello. And that catches us up. Wonderful. <laughs> well, thank you for tuning in this week to uh, Brain Scan. We do this live every Tuesday at 6.30 on Facebook, but you can also watch us later on our YouTube channel. Also, be sure to like, share, and comment so that we stay in your feed and you never miss an episode because we are Green Brain Comics on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, of course, but on Twitter we are Green Brain CMX. That's right. You can shop our store at GreenBrainComics.com and do all your pre-orders at ComicHub.com. Wonderful. And I guess remember that we are always spreading the love of comic books and graphic novels from the heart of East Downtown Dearborn since 1985. <laughs> Feed your brain. brain. At Green Brain Comics. Thanks for watching, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Get those orders in. Yes. Happy Wednesday. Read all your comics. Get all your comics at Green Brain Comics. Thanks for watching the preview, <laughs> folks. Remember, this is a new Comic Book Day preview plus dancing. Yeah. <laughs> See y'all tomorrow for new Comic Book Day. Cross your fingers. We'll get DC Comics soon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. See y'all soon. Happy new Comic Book Day.